Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome in. Hope you're ready for a nice full body burn that we got in store for you today. It's going to have a bit of an emphasis on the chest and the legs primarily, but full body nonetheless. Now, make sure you have some weights available. They will be optional for this workout. We'll give you a modification or two if you don't have them, but let's go ahead and have some fun and work up a really good sweat. All right, guys. So our first move for today is going to be a compound move. One of my favorites, we're going to do an inch worm and we're going to combine it with a push-up at the bottom. So right off the bat, what I want you to do is get into a slight shoulder width stance, feet not too far apart, not too close together, but a nice distance from each other. Slight bend in the knee, and you're going to maintain that slight bend throughout the entirety of the move. From there, you're going to push those hips out, trying to get a nice good stretch and pull on those hamstrings, hands to the floor. You're going to walk yourself all the way out into a push-up plank position, and then taking that deep breath in, you're going to lead with the chest going down, power back up through those palms, keeping that core nice and sturdy, and then continuing walking those hands back inside. All right? We want to come to a full stance as well, so we're going to fully extend through the hips, so you're coming all the way back up, just like you did before you went down. Now, if that's a little bit too much for you, you can use your knees at the bottom. You're still going to hip hinge, knees are still slightly big, you're still going to give us that strong inchworm, core nice and sturdy, but you can drop your knees there at the bottom, skip, continue to lead with the chest, power back through, legs are back up, plank position, and then walk yourself back in. Now guys, you got five repetitions here. Again, fully extend through the hips, knees are slightly bent, and really try to engage, get that pull there on the back side of those. All right, so as I mentioned, we're gonna be putting an emphasis on those chest and those legs primarily, but still getting good full body. So second up here, we're getting into a split lunge, guys. So weights are optional. If you have weights, go ahead and get one in each hand. We're gonna get a nice good split stance here to start, get enough separation in between those two feet. So when we proceed to drop that back knee, you're less likely to shift that weight forward and push that knee past the toe. Notice that the heel is down here, the toe is down on the back foot, and that knee is still elevated, and we have a nice straight torso with a nice tight core. So you're going to power back through the heel on that front leg, continuously dropping down, performing seven repetitions on one leg before you switch over to the other. If you're struggling with that, or you just don't have the weights available to you, go ahead, grab you a wall, and you got to go opposite hand and foot. So if your right hand, like you see here, is on the wall, you want that left leg forward and try to be kind of, and try to be specific about not leaning in, but keeping enough uh, distance between your hand and the wall so you can be nice and upright and not leaning into it. Feet are still separated nice and wide, dropping that back knee, pushing through that front heel, breathing in on the way down, breathe out as you come up. All right, once you complete that seven, go ahead and switch sides, left hand on the wall, right hand forward, and continue in performing seven reps. So that's gonna give you a total of 14 with this move. If you have weights, please grab them. Make sure you add that extra resistance to it, making this movement as difficult as you can to challenge yourself. And if not, perform it freestanding, or you can use the wall to help you with that balance if that's something you find yourself struggling with. All right, guys, on to move number three here, we're getting into a Floor press. Very similar to a chest press, the only difference is we're going to limit your range of motion by putting you on the floor, but still challenging those pecs nonetheless. So as you get those dumbbells in hands, be certain that you're holding those dumbbells nice and sturdy and your palms aren't bent back. So your knuckles want to be forward, I mean your palm want to be forward and your knuckles are facing towards the ceiling above you. Once you're in that position, arms are spread out right outside those pecs, you're going to breathe out as you push those weights up together, and then in a controlled motion, squeezing those shoulder blades together as you return back to the bottom. Yes, you want to take those arms all the way to the floor. You are having a limited range of motion. That is totally fine. That's purposeful with this movement, but make sure that you go all the way down to the bottom, breathing out, pushing all the way back to the top. Keep a nice, tight and firm on those dumbbells. Keep those wrists from bending backwards. And if you're struggling with this move or you just don't have weights in general, you can supplement this with a regular push-up. So you can flip over to the floor, hands are spread right outside the shoulder width, helping you engage those pectorials. Hips are up, core is nice and sturdy. Breathing in as you lower the chest down, breathe out as you push through those palms, coming back to the top. 
And if you need more assistance here, go ahead and drop those knees, keeping the hips around 45 degrees and still continuing that same motion. Now you wanna perform this movement with the dumbbells doing a floor press or push up for 10 repetitions. All right guys, on to move number four here and we're going right back down to those legs again. And again, remember weight is optional here. So if you have it available to you, go ahead and get that out. Give yourself as much of a challenge with these movements today as you possibly can. Now we're gonna get into some lateral lunges. And just like those split lunges I showed you earlier, we're gonna focus one side at a time and we're not gonna alternate. So you can take that weight, whether that's a jug of water, that's a dumbbell, a kettlebell, anything that you can get your hands on and add some resistance, you're gonna bring that weight up, tuck it right underneath the chin, no separation from the body, keeping you less likely from being pushed pull forward and rounding at the spine, and you're just gonna maintain that upright torso. Now notice at the bottom here, we're in a nice big wide split, and that's gonna be for a reason. You're gonna be a little bit more abnormally separated than you normally are, and that's because we're gonna shift all your weight to one side at a time. Right now, we're pushing to the left, we're keeping that heel down, notice that those hips are still being pushed behind you, and we're still being cognizant about not pushing that knee past that toe. You should feel this move primarily on that quad or the side that you're pushing to, and you're gonna keep that opposite leg as straight as you can throughout. Notice that weight also isn't moving, it's staying tucked right under the chin, and it's not allowing you to be pulled forward. So your core is tight, you're in total control, and you're gonna perform seven reps on each leg. Now again, no alternating, you wanna go seven straight on one side, and then go and do the next seven on the other side. And if you don't have a weight, or if that is too difficult for you, go ahead, get back to that wall. You're gonna have those hands right out in front of you, those feet are spread, and you're still gonna perform that same motion, keeping the heel down, shifting all of that weight to one side of the body. And just like before, seven reps on each side, keep those hands on the wall, and try to maintain that upright position and that tight core throughout the entirety of those moves. All right, guys, last and final move, and I know that chest, I know those legs are a bit on fire right now, so I'm gonna give those a break, and we're gonna do a little bit of core to finish off this circuit here. So we're gonna do something that we like to call butterfly sit-ups. So as you get down in that seated form, those feet are together, those legs are spread out like butterfly wings, and you're gonna use your arms to create as much momentum as you can to get yourself back up from the floor. So arms are straight as you lay back, hands go as far behind you as you can go. And you wanna snatch forward, being explosive, pulling yourself to the top, keeping those hips down, those feet together, and then breathing in as you go down, Breathe out as you snatch yourself back up from the floor. You're gonna perform this movement for 10 reps, and if you get hung up on, hey, I can't get myself back up, no worries, you gotta start somewhere. So pull yourself forward, use the momentum from that you create with those arms to get yourself as high as you can. If you can't get all the way up there today, that is fine, your goal is to create a contraction within your abdominals so that you can build those muscles up get stronger, and eventually you can make your way back to the top. Now, as I mentioned before, you have 10 repetitions there. Be certain that you're taking those arms all the way back as you go to, to the floor, and then snatch those arms forward to pull you forward, create a nice good contraction within that core area so that you can work those abdominals. You got 10 reps there, guys. That's the end of your circuit. Make sure you have fun with it and do everything that you're supposed to do to get the best out of it. All right, guys, that was a good workout right there. So remember, I always have fun with these things. Challenge yourselves. So we got a full body burner there. We put the emphasis on those chest and on those legs. And you have inchworms into a push-up, five repetitions, split lunges, seven reps each legs, no alternating. Complete that first seven before you start the next seven on the opposite side. Four presses for 10 reps or straight push-ups for 10 repetitions. Remember, your knees are welcome there if necessary. Lateral lunges, very similar to those split lunges, big, wide, abnormal stance, and keep that knee from shifting forward past that toe as you shift that weight forward. Uh, and then last but certainly not least there, we got butterfly sit-ups, giving those chest muscles and those leg muscles a bit of a break as you go and you target that core, Breathing in as you go down, breathe out as you come up, 
and use those arms as momentum to help you create as much of a contraction within those abdominals as you possibly can. Now you're gonna repeat all these exercises for four rounds doing those same number of reps that we've mentioned. And guys, have fun with it, challenge yourselves, and try to keep those rest periods from being too long. Keep yourself constantly under pressure, getting the best out of this workout and the best results possible. Now, see you next time and have a great time with it.